Hello everyone, how's everyone? You guys are doing? I'm doing good. So today we're gonna be talking about the Panasonic Toughbook 55, and in this thing, right? We know there's this ATN Radian, right? 18 Radeon Pro WX4150 GPU in there. So today I've got thorough information about that GPU which is inside the Panasonic Topbook 55. So this is really really interesting what I'm going to show you today. So you guys will have more in-depth knowledge because some people haven't even heard of this GPU. Okay. I think a lot of people don't take much interest in ATI, ATI Radian nowadays. They probably do buy it, but a lot of people are going for like the NVIDIA GPUs, aren't they? So this is the ATI Radian Pro WX4150. So here we go. So the GPU specification is right. GPU architecture is Polaris. Company is 14. Lithium 40nm FinPET and if you see peak single position is 1.89 TFLOPS streaming processor is 896 peak double possession 118 GFLOPS wow not bad at all pretty good so if we go more down there it's gonna get good insider what this GPU actually has inside it so the GPU memory is memory size 4 GB well I have to say that that's not pretty bad at all memory bandwidth 96 GB 4 slash S memory type GPU GDD GDDR5 memory is CC support new memory interface 128 bit board specification bus type PCIe 3.0 times 16 TBP 45 watt. Wow, pretty good, man. Additional features support technologies OpenGL 2.0, video calling engine, 10 bit display color output. Yes, OpenGL 4.6, unified video decoder UVD. Okay. And then it says that product basics product family mobile platforms okay so this is a product line Radeon Pro WX X on the mobile series okay that's where it's from platform laptop so now you know the product line is a Radeon Pro WX X100 so if you ever want to search for that you can this is the official website You see, they have other following um, Radeon Pro WX GPUs. You can see this one for 7100, 4170, 4130. I don't know why people go there, I've never heard of it. But this is on their own official website. Okay? Maybe it wasn't that available on the market. But in terms of this site, you can actually buy this thing. Okay. Now, I want to make something clear here. Okay. Right, ATA Radeon Pro to X1 Right, now you've got the insider of knowledge of it now. What this GPU can do. Okay. This GPU is pretty impressive. Okay. Okay. The other thing is that we, we know that it's now like a R. Uh, and video RTX 2080 okay it's probably nothing like that okay it's nothing like on them kind of lines 
but it comes in the lines of nvidia gtx okay like 1050s and 1060s it comes in them kind of lines yeah it's, it's good it's pretty good like that these gpus you gotta consider what kind of gaming power this thing will give you okay some people will use graphics programs for this thing and they will edit things and use video encoding stuff with it okay <clears throat> you can also do that as well with it but in terms of gaming how can how good is this thing really is if you look at the one gx one gaming laptop the people who are very crazy about in there right the gpu it has is only a coolant to a mx350 but it really doesn't actually beat that really if you want to beat that you will need a one gx1 pro but to be honest to be honest when we look at both of the models of one gx1 and one gx1 pro gaming laptops right they're not more than than the nvidia mx350 really they just come between them lines but when we look at this gpu right it's far beyond what that thing is this gpu is between nvidia gtx 1050 and 1060s i was very surprised when i did some research on this thing and i found out it's equivalent to that i when i looked at it and people were very surprised what this thing was they were trying to say just do a bit of a boost I'm failing to understand it just can't be a bit of a boost it may be these people are, people are not understanding it the way I understand this GPU they're probably using very extreme things and that's why they're trying to say it's a bit of a boost we shouldn't always look at GPUs like that because this GPU back in the few years right we used to have nvidia gtx 1050 1060s remember them look how many people enjoyed them gpus yeah but they come so slowly but slowly line by line don't they you don't just get a rtx to have idea gtx has been there for a very long time and the rtx came out after a few years didn't it and people start going really excited oh we got 2060s and 2070s and 2080s supers whatever they are people get excited about them yeah but they come that slowly by slowly don't they now if you consider this thing right what the panasonic Toughbook 55 is capable of doing it's a thing that no laptop has ever been at this level okay it's never been at that level that's really surprising about it the stuff like about it's water resistance, the water can't go inside the keyboards and touchpads. The chassis is so tough when it drops on the floor, the notebook doesn't break. Yeah. And then it has configurations where you can put every single component you can think of that we use in a desktop. He actually does that. Because nowadays laptops they can't even do that. They can just about from the memory and just the ssd and just to the battery and nothing else there's not much variety to these laptops if we see but this laptop is taking every single part and upgrading it having this radium pro wx 4150 now i'm going to explain a bit about what will it do for gaming well, this thing will be really good for gaming. In a way, it will be quite good. It will be pretty good. It will perform good because it's in the line of NVIDIA GTX 1050s and 1060s. Believe me, it's more to do with the 1050s than the 1060s. 1060 probably is probably a little bit higher than this thing. But I think we'll probably go range for the NVIDIA GTX 1050. 1050 is not that bad I would say if this thing is equivalent to that thing then it's pretty good yeah because a lot of devices that are 
made nowadays. They just done the NVIDIA MX 350s. Yeah, they don't be going down NVIDIA GTXs. No, they don't go on there. A lot of the devices which are releasing this year, they don't go that high. No. Apart from the very high end laptops, which NVIDIA always talks about is RTX GPUs. But then you end, you're just gonna end up just having a GPU. Then you're not gonna do, you're not gonna be doing nothing else. You're not gonna be able to do anything else with it. You see, for gaming, like for gaming performance, now the Panasonic Toughbook 55 is a 1920 x 1080 resolution. That is 1080p HD. What is that? That's a full HD, isn't it? Now that full HD, right? You can get a lot of emulations running on 1080p HD on it, you know. You can try 4K on it. You might just able to squeeze some 4K emulation out of it as well. But 1080p HD is going to be rec highly recommended. Okay. And a lot of the games you can be playing on this thing. You should be able to get some medium. You'll get medium settings out of it. High you able, you, able to, you should be able to get ultra settings is a thing that you need to check for yourself. I think I will go for medium or high settings for this Radeon Pro WX4150. Trust me, the benchmarks for this thing are pretty good. In my next video, I'll be covering the Radeon Pro WX4150 some benchmarks, right? That we heard of. Okay, the benchmarks are pretty good for this GPU. So we're going to be covering with that because the benchmarks is going to give you more of an insider of the AT Radian Proto X4150 what it is for gaming. Just trying one two games doesn't doesn't mean anything, does it? Because some of the people out there probably want to play some different kind of games out there because you can use this device we know for the rugged thing as well and also home and office and you could also play some video games on the Panasonic Toughbook 55 so we're going to be covering some benchmarks in my next video and I hope you guys enjoy my video for today give your likes comment subscribe thanks for watching bye for now